You know, the Brady to the 49ers talk is actually real from both the San Francisco and New England side. The Niners would have to send Jimmy Garoppolo back to the Patriots, which the report says Bill Belichick would like. That part doesn't necessarily surprise me, but Shannon, can you see this happening for real? No, I, Skip, like I said, I'm, and we've been going back and forth since you and I come to the realization that Tom Brady, um, I'm a little bit sooner than you, but you, I think you, I, I even convinced you that Tom Brady is not coming back. What I can't get people to under, help me understand, you gave Tom Brady $8 million on top of his $15 million salary to make it $23 million. Why didn't you just extend him two years? If you thought he could lead you to where you wanted to go, he has shown no signs of, of, of play dropping off. Why not just extend in two years if we're not even having this discussion? Okay, then the joke's on New England. That's their fault, yeah. right? Because Cole Belichick says, I know what you don't know. I'm seeing practice. I'm starting to see a lot right. of more missed practice time. Right. I don't see the good. Good I don't luck see to the, you. It, yep. Coach Belichick don't need luck. Mm. <laughs> Coach Belichick, I trust. Mm. He said, I put a historic defense around him. Mm. And any time that we couldn't get to 17 points, hold a team to 17 points, mm -hmm. we bit the bullet. Mm. We bit it. We bit it, Skip. Why is that? Mm. You mean to tell me a goat can't get me 18? So I want to get this clear from you. Yes. You're saying right here, right now, Tom Brady has hit the wall. He's finished. He's done. I, he is washed completely I'm saying, up. I'm saying if you don't give Tom Brady, Derrick Henry, Antonio Brown, uh, uh, Rob Gronkowski, Julio Jones, and give him a top flight offensive line, yes. Well, if you need to give him all that, hell, Peyton Manning can come out of retirement. Okay, so you're saying he's done because he's not going to have all that. Win a Super Bowl. Yeah, he wins some games. Mm. You're talking about Super Bowl. Because here's the thing now. We measure Tom Brady by Super Bowl. There are certain players, Skip, like LeBron. You know what? Like, yeah, it's nice to win 60-plus games and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so just hypothetically, yes. if Tom Brady winds up as the 49er quarterback going into the 2020 football season, you're going to give them no shot. They're not winning. Okay. No, they're not winning, and he's not going there. Mm. I said, look, I believe uh, uh, India is the best option, but I said if I had to put some money on it, I'll put fit it all, he'd go to Tennessee. Okay, fine. I believe this is going to happen because, as Dion said the other day, it just makes too much sense. To you and him. I tweeted it in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Tom Brady should be a 49er. It's too bad he wasn't a 49er this year because they would have a championship. Trip. Right now, they got there. Lombardi. What if they hadn't gotten there with him? Okay, well, you can argue that, but I'm going to argue strongly the other way. First of all, I'm going to give you this little scenario, just a little, little nugget for you. Okay. And I brought this up before. In 2020, the 49ers can get out from under the Garoppolo deal if they so choose. Just, just keep this in, in the back of your mind. None of Garoppolo's salary is guaranteed until April 1. And if he's released prior to June 1, the move would save the 49ers $22.4 in cap space. So they could effectively just cut bait. They could. They could just let him walk right. into the sunset, onto the open market, let him go wherever he wants to go. Maybe he would go back to New England. But they could do that and save a ton of money mm -hmm. because the deal is totally team friendly. Well, they front loaded it. Okay. And a lot of people looked at it like, what are you doing? But it seems like this they yeah. knew what they were doing because now, like you said, they yeah. can get out from under with very little ramifications. Very little. And if you want to keep the deal in place and trade him, and again, you only gave up a two to Belichick for right. him, so, so it wasn't a staggering price that you right. paid to begin with. First and the you, third. You, you, yeah. You, you didn't give up, like, like you didn't take Jimmy G second overall or first overall, right. where you said, we bet the future on him. No, right. you didn't do that. So he's got three years left on the current deal that you can just cut bait on, but the three years are at 25.2 million, 25.5, and 25.6, all low ball deals, yeah, that, right? That's easy. Th th just easy. Like we're talking about Dak, is it 34, 35, yeah. 40, you yeah. know, like, right? And Jimmy G stuck for three more years at 25 million. So the point is, it's not undoable. In fact, it almost screams, do it. Because what did we see in the postseason? We saw a head coach who did not trust his quarterback. Right? Yeah, and I saw a head coach that trusted his quarterback and he threw a pick six. Huh. And he couldn't get him in the end zone on him. Okay, so wait, is that the same head coach whose quarterback put him in position in the final regular season game oh my goodness. with a 70-yard drive to put you up 
24 to 20 with 350 left in the game. And all you had to do is stop Ryan Fitzpatrick from going 80 yards for a touchdown. That's all you have to do. And you are the two seed. You're going to get two weeks off and one home game to get to Baltimore, as we all thought was going to happen, to right the wrong of the Sunday night loss. It's perfect. Tom Brady did that with the worst supporting cast he's ever had in New England. And you're telling me that he had a bad year? That's a great year given the degree of difficulty. Skip. Perfect. Skip. And Belichick's defense spit the bit. Skip. I mean, you talk about a defense that still gave up average 14 points a game. They gave up an 80-yard drive that cost them the two seed. But what about the what about the pick six that Tom threw? Okay, he overcame it with a another game-winning drive. Well, then he wouldn't have had to overcome it yep. because he gave them a touchdown that they didn't deserve to have. Okay, but he did what he always does. Okay, and okay. what he will do next year for the 49ers. Okay, but Skip, you still had the home game in the playoff. Forget the two seed. Yep. You still had a home game. Let's talk about Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Okay, how did he play in Tennessee? Now, we've seen two playoff games, Skip, in the last two years. Hey, I want you on record. He's finished. That's all I want because I say he's got two more Super Bowls left. No. In. Yep. Give him just no. a semblance of a sporting cast, and San Francisco's really got a semblance. Mm -mm. Look out. Mm -mm. With that run game and, and give him Kittle and give him Debo and Emmanuel, Look out above, because here they come. Well, they can't run their offense. Yeah. I mean, he can't run no boots and waggle. He's not yeah. mobile to get outside yeah. the pocket and throw. Well, Jimmy G can run it so great that in the second half against Jenny's Vikings, they let him throw six passes. He went three for six for 26 yards. And then in the second half against Green Bay, he was two of two. Two of two. That's pretty good. Six of eight for the whole game, because they just said... Keep the ball out of his hands. Well, and then the 49ers got in trouble in the Super Bowl. And finally, Kyle Shanahan, to his detriment, said, you know what? I got no other hope here. I got to let Jimmy G try to save me. And in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, Jimmy G went 3 of 11 for 36 yards with an interception. And you know and I know he cost them that game that Tom Brady would have won for them. Skip. It's as simple as that. the two games that you mentioned, the Green Bay and Minnesota, they couldn't stop the run. Mm -hmm. So why am I going to throw the ball if I can just turn around and mm -hmm. hand it off and most it and those guys can go get 7, 8, 10, 12 yards a clip? Why would I run it? Why would I throw it? Excuse me. If you really believed in your quarterback and what you do on offense, you're going to go 50-50 right wait, do you now. Remember right going to do, do you remember right before the half, Coach Belichick with a minute and 30 took a knee? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. That's yeah. your quarterback. That's the go. That was probably another seminal moment, a yeah, moment the goal. Where, where the death knell sounded for Tom Brady in New England, where he's thinking, okay, that's it, I'm out. Yeah, I'm the goal. Yep. That's your guy, the goal. Mm -hmm. yep. Coach Belichick says, I've seen enough. Okay, and I say, good luck to Bill Belichick. I want to see what you can do without him. Skip, I, skip, I get, let's just say for the sake of argument, you and a lot of other people are correct. Are you willing? Because you know what's going to happen. Coach Belichick tried to prevent this. He said, yes, I love winning Super Bowls. But if I win another Super Bowl and then I got to go 25 years like you have mm -hmm. without one, what, Skip, what good is those five Super Bowls doing the Cowboys right now? Because you're trying to get that. So you, okay, you get Tom Brady for a year. And you, for some ungodly reason, you do win the Super Bowl. But then you have another 25, 30 years of perpetuity. You okay with that? So you should be okay with Dallas not winning none. So why you, why you, uh... uh well, I, I got to tell you, right now, Jerry Jones would be the all-time laughing stock if not for three Lombardis sitting in his office. Three. Yes. So he did that. You can't take it away. What? And they're hard to win, as you well know. They don't grow on trees, and they don't come around every year. Nope. And when you have a team on the verge like the 49ers facing the Super Bowl loser syndrome, which can just send you right down the toilet. But, yeah, right hold on. Drain. You do realize, Skip, in 91, they lost, they lost to Detroit, right? I was, I was there. Okay. 38 to 6. Jerry Jones didn't say, well, Troy can't get it done. Let me go get me another quarterback. Well, Jimmy had already said Troy can't get it done because he went with Steve Berline all the way through the playoffs and started that game with Steve Berline. And then what happened? Yep. Yeah. And you see what happens? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just stick to the process. Everybody mm -hmm. wants this instantaneous. Nobody wants to cook, Jenny. Everybody wants a microwave. Mm -hmm. But old Shea Sharp cooking. Mm -hmm. I cook pancakes mm -hmm. on a Saturday. I think you're cooking Tom Brady right now. Yeah, you, cooking yeah. him till he's just Skip. done. Skip, I didn't do this. Mm -hmm. Father Time did this. Really? Okay. Yes. You know, Skip, you know he's not the same guy. I can't Be wait. Tom Brady challenged 
elsewhere. That's I love you, it. You put those things together, look out. I've never in my life ever heard Tom Brady needs this, this, and this. They've always said Tom does more with less than anyone. Yeah. Now he needs a receiver. Until his receiving core is dead last in the league in separation. But you never dead gave last. Skip, you never gave that receiving core credit. Mm. The only receiver, every time you the only receiver you've ever had is Randy Moss. Mm. You didn't give Wes Welker. You didn't give Hogan. You didn't give Amendola. You didn't give Edelman. They never got credit. Mm. Now Tom Brady I used, looks like he looks. I it's their used fault. to give Edelman credit. No, I did. told you he's in the hall. <laughs> Hall of Fame conversation. Okay. And yet last year, broken down shell. Last year, led the league in drops. Skip, you wanted to give the Super Bowl MVP to a guy that threw for barely 200 yards with no touchdown. He pulled off the game-winning drive in a nothing-to-nothing game. What, what are you talking about? It was that kind of game. It was a defensive struggle on both sides. He's up against his nemesis, Wade Phillips, and a Rams defense that was hot as any defense in football oh at the goodness, end of the yeah. year. You know it, and I know it. And what'd you guy do? What'd you guy do? Even though he had that drive, Jenny, barely 200, a pick and no tubs. Five for five and a pass that was almost a touchdown. Went 29 yards to Gronkowski down to the two. Yeah. And even with that, he had a 36 QBR. Mm. So even with five completions in a row, he still had a 36 QBR. Yet another fourth quarter game-winning drive in a Super Bowl for Tom Brady. Six out of six. And but guess what happened? He wasn't going against Jerry Goff. Mm. But when he went against Lamar Jackson, mm. he went against my homeboy. Mm. What happened, Skip? What's about to happen is the 49ers at 12.01 <laughs> on March 16, 12.01 a.m., they're going to be on the 